Hello everyone, welcome back to Medical Coding Club. This is Chandrika and today I am going to discuss about ICD-10 conventions and guidelines. So in this video we will be discussing few conventions. So the first one is ICD-10 CM format and structure. So as you all know ICD-10 codes consist of categories, subcategories and codes. So usually categories have three characters and subcategories will vary from four to five characters and the complete code can be as long as seven characters. So the complete code is like it, it doesn't always mean that it should have seven character but as long as seven character it, it says. So you can see the example category uh, E11 it represent type 2 diabetes and uh, subcategory E11.9 so that is uh, you can see here are three characters and the code example here you can see is 72001A which which is like uh, having seven character okay so this can be considered as a complete code so next we have use of codes for reporting purposes so usually if we use incomplete codes for reimbursement it will not happen either the claim will get rejected or it will get denied okay so whenever we are processing any diagnosis code we should make sure that the code is complete that means the code is valid code okay so in example you can see a 72001 is a complete invalid code and a 72001a is a valid code so next we'll understand placeholder character x so x is used as a placeholder in the codes that need a seventh character but it it doesn't have a enough digits okay so as we know this allows the room for future expansion so you can see the example t451 x1a so in in future maybe that one x can change to one two or one three okay we don't know that so they are keeping uh, with the x for the future expansion so coming to nec and nos abrasion so which is very important and you should have a clear understanding on both of these terms so nec stands for not elsewhere classifiable okay so if you check from alphabetic index and tabular list so this nec conditions will give you other specified codes okay and coming to nos means not otherwise specified which is equivalent of unspecified so you will if you get uh, nos codes means you will direct to unspecified codes so example you can see i have added j98.8 which is other specified respiratory disorder in the example for nec condition okay so which is an other condition and j98.9 uh, which is for nos condition respiratory disorder unspecified okay so here we are taking it as unspecified next coming to punctuations in codes so in the icd book or in a software you can see that we have brackets and we have parenthesis and we have colon so brackets the meaning is like in the tabular list it will give you an alternative wording for the same condition say for example hypertension so hypertension we will call it as primary hypertension and also essential hypertension but the code is same okay so it given other alternative word okay and coming to alphabetic index it indicates the manifestation codes so next uh, parenthesis parenthesis is like uh, there will be one condition with the condition we will have the subentry codes that may be acute or chronic but it will not the word in parenthesis the supplementary will not change the assigned code okay so next colon so colon used for incomplete codes so with the colon uh, we will understand that the code is incomplete and it may 
require additional characters to complete the code. So next coming to very important nodes that is exclude one and exclude two nodes. So if you are a fresher or if you are a beginner, you should know what it is because it is most asked question in interview as well. And for your future or when you start coding, uh, these nodes are very important that you should follow for the proper coding. So exclude one. So this node means not coded here. It indicates that two conditions cannot occur together. Okay, say for example, if you in the same uh, documentation, you are seeing type 1 diabetes mellitus and type 2 diabetes mellitus. So when you when you have to, when you go and check the nodes for uh, type 1 diabetes mellitus, in the nodes you could see that exclude one node E11. Okay, that meaning is we cannot code these two conditions for the same encounter, for the same patient. Okay, and if you want any other examples like uh, the acute pharyngitis with any influenza conditions. So, we have many examples for exclude 1 and exclude 2, this node means not included here. The meaning is we can code both. Okay, so you can see example acute tonsillitis and chronic tonsillitis. So if you check the nodes for acute tonsillitis or chronic tonsillitis, there is no exclude node. These conditions are not falling under exclude one uh, node. Okay, so both we can code together. So next coming to inclusion nodes. So here inclusion is like by uh, like the notes provides an additional clarification about what is included under the specific code. So if we take an example of appendicitis, okay, so in that uh, note we could see like inflammation. So inflammation of uh, the particular site, we will get to know that the, it, it is an inflammation of appendix. Okay, so we will code that uh, acute appendicitis. So next coming to etiology and manifestation. So the situation where the disease caused by an another condition considered as etiology and it further results in a secondary condition called as a manifestation. Okay. So the coding guideline instruct that underlining cause must be coded first. So example you can see G20 the Parkinson disease which is an underlining cause or etiology. And F0 2.80, it's a, a dementia in Parkinson disease, which is considered as manifestation. So as per our guideline, we must code uh, etiology first, that is G20 and followed by F0 to 80. So to show the both cause and the effect. So uh, yes, that is all for today. I have covered a few conventions. And uh, further, in the next video, I'll try to cover remaining ICD-10 CM conventions and guidelines. So thank you for watching. Please do subscribe my YouTube channel and please do share with your medical coding friends. And for more uh, coding information, please do uh, follow me on Instagram. Thank you all.